Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. In turn, discuss further into approximate integration, and now look at example four, which goes over uh, the Simpson's rule. And basically, the example is use Simpson's rule with n equals to ten to approximate integral from one to two of one divided by x dx. So recall of my earlier video, I went over the Simpson's rule and its proof, and uh, basically, it's an approximation method that uses uh, parabolas as opposed to rectangles or trapezoids or any straight edged uh, shape. So recall the formula. First thing we're going to do is recall the Simpson's rule where you had, if you had a function uh, integral like from a to b of fx dx, this is approximately equal to the Simpson's rule denoted by an s, n with n intervals or subintervals, in our case it's 10. This equals to delta x, this is the width of each subinterval, divided by 3, and then we had the pattern f of, well, x0, plus, then it goes 4 f of x, uh, 1, then plus 2 f of x, 2, and this keeps going on and on this exact same pattern, then it goes to uh, 2, actually, we'll have a, let's just add another 4 here. 4 f of x 3 and then plus all the way keeps going 2 4 2 4 till we get 2 f of x this is going to be we'll call it n minus 2 plus 4 f of x n minus 1 and then finally plus f of x n and where this one just has a 1 so it basically the the pattern is 1 4 2 4, 2, it uh, keeps going on and on, 4, 2, then 4, and then the last one is the 1. So it, it all starts off with 1, 4, and ends with 4, 1. So now in our case, in this one here, we have, well, our a equals to 1, our b equals to 2, n equals to 10, and then a delta x, that's the width of each subinterval, which equals 2, well, b minus uh, b, b minus a over n, which equals to 2 minus 1 over 10, point 0.1, yeah, this is just going to be, well, 1 over 2, and 1 over 10 equals to point 0.1 like that. And if we were, well, to graph this out, just to get a better illustration, this is x, this is y, the function is like this, this is our 1 over x, or I'll call it our f of x, so that's what our f of x equals to, 1 over x, this is from a, this is B like this. And now you split this up into 10 subintervals. So you have, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have 1, 2, and this should be 5 like that. And then basically drawing these subintervals just to get a better illustration of how it looks like. It goes something like that. These are the lengths like that. And then each, is so basically the Simpsons rule like I showed, you take three points or two um, sub-intervals to uh, just any pair and then it's connected through it with a parabola. So yeah, here's a better parabola. So it looks something like, like this. And again, every th every uh, two pairs, it just connects to it. And in this case, it's going to look pretty much identical to it. So it should be very accurate because it's basically following almost a parabola-like curve. So this is our A and our B. And our a in this case is equal to 1, so a equals to 1, which is also equal to, well, our x0. And that this is our x1 right here, etc. goes all the way up to here. This is our b equals to, well, x, yeah, our xn, and in this case equals to 2, and our, ours is x10, like that. So the first point, they're all separated by point 1, that's the uh, delta x. So delta x, so then the first point here is going to be 1.0, 1, 1 this is 1.1, 1.2, they're all separated by 1 point, yeah, point 0.1, as you can see, 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 1.8, 1.9, and this one here, this is our x9, etc., and it follows the exact same um, uh, format here, or pattern. So what we could do is now we could solve, well, integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over x, dx, that's our new f of x, 
this equals to roughly s of 10, this equals to 0.1 divided by 3, and now we have, well, f of, uh, of 1, where in this case f of x is uh, 1 over x, so we just put, put in uh, these numbers inside 1 divided by, well, like this, 1 divided by 1, that, that's our x, x0, plus now we have the 4 divided by, well, it's going to be 1.1. You can even remove the bracket. And then plus 2 over 1.2 uh, plus 4 over 1.3, and it keeps going on and on. Plus 2 over 1.4 plus 4 over 1.5 plus uh, 2 again, 1.6 plus 4 over 1.7 plus 2 over 1.8 plus 4 over 1.9 and it looks like we, we didn't miss anything because the last one is a, the second last is a 4 then it goes from 1 divided by 2 so that's what we have plug this all into the calculator we get roughly or s10 is roughly equal to and here here I've put that in just a Google calculator right here 0 0.1 divided by 3 all, all over here we get 0 0.693150 and keeps going on, I'll stop there. So uh, this goes to, yeah, it's gonna be 0 0.693150 and it keeps going on, I'll just stop there. And now basically recall the exact value as well as approximation is using trapezoidal midpoint uh, rules that I covered in my earlier videos. So the exact value is actually ln, uh, is actually ln 2, which if you plug this into the calculator is about 0.693147. Here I've put that in 0.693147 like that. I'll, I'll show you this in a bit. Basically, I went over this in my earlier videos and also for the trapezoidal rule. So make sure to watch those and the midpoint rule. And, and when we compare all these, this has a 0.693150. This is all the way right for the first four digits. And then it's uh, it's off at the, over here point. And then there's a four seven as opposed to a five zero. But let's compare with the trapezoidal rule and the midpoint rule. This these are off well by these last three digits. There's a seven seven one. So and this one here is by the four digits like that. Even though well this is actually a bit uh, more accurate than this one because it's two eight three one. There's a three seven. 3 one. So this is off by uh, even more than this one. But as you can see, this one is much more accurate. And also quickly, uh, just do a calculation here. Integral from 1 to 2, 1 over x dx. This equals 2. Well, ln x from 1 to 2, which equals to ln 2 minus ln 1. And this goes to 0, goes ln 2. That's our exact answer right there. And like I just explained, basically notice how our approximation using Simpson's rule is much more accurate than either the trapezoidal or midpoint rule. But in fact, it turns out that the Simpson's rule is actually a weighted average of the trapezoidal and midpoint rule. And I'll prove this in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Basically, S of 2n, and again, this 2n is to indicate that the Simpson's rule, well, it's only applicable for an even number of subintervals, so we can't... Yeah, can't have odd ones. And also, uh, in this case, this is showing that, well, 2n, then if this is five, like if this is 10 s of 10, that means that you're looking at the trapezoidal midpoint rules with with five subintervals. So th these are half of them. That's, I'll prove that in my next video as well. And also, as shown in my earlier videos, the trapezoidal and midpoint rules, et and em, these are just the errors. They have opposite signs like I showed in this case here. This one is well less than the exact. This is less than ln 2 and here is greater than ln 2. So the errors are opposite signs. Generally they are. And EM is about half the size of ET or absolute value of ET like I showed before. Basically the midpoint rule is about yeah double the accuracy or uh, has half the error. Thus a weighted average would need two terms of mn for every one term of tn. And basically what this means is the weighted average is equal to, this is going to be uh, tn plus well mn plus mn all divided by 
3. And this is done basically to give this midpoint rule the same weight as the t, and to do that, well, it's, since it's half, you need to multiply it by 2. And this equals to, well, tn over 3 plus 2 over 3 mn. And now if we were to plug this into the calculator, before I uh, plug that in, recall from my, earlier, from my earlier video as well that the trapezoidal rule at five subintervals for the one over x uh, for our function is basically 0 0.695635, and for the midpoint rule with five intervals, 0 0.691908, it's approximately that. So this means that s of 10, if we were to do uh, this right here, it should equal to this weighted average of T5 over 3 plus M5 over uh, three, uh, 2 M5 over 3. And again, recall that, or just observe that this is a, these trapezoidal midpoint rule have half the subintervals as this in this formula. And again, I'll prove this in the next video, so stay tuned for that. So if we plug this into the calculators, bring this up, I already have that calculated, 0.695. 635 and then times n plus 2 times 0 0.691908 that's the midpoint rule all divided by 3 we get 0 0.693150 and uh, we can ignore the rest let's just get up to this far this is roughly equal to 0.691 yeah I mean 3150 so this is the exact same thing we already calculated that's our 0 0.693150, which is pretty uh, remarkable, and I'll prove this later on. So that just shows that this formula works exactly. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this pretty uh, interesting video on Simpson's rule and how it relates to the trapezoidal and midpoint rules. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.